First at six, some changes are coming to the 2023 tax code, which could mean more money in your pocket. The IRS announced one of the largest automatic adjustments in decades to offset a year of surging prices. The Dayton Fire Department says this year is set to be the busiest years they've ever had. The department reported that six of the nine months so far this year have been the busiest of that month that they've ever seen. Turning to weather now, Steve, a lot of people had to grab their coats as they walked out the door this morning, and it seems like it's the same trend tonight. Let's go to Storm Team 2 meteorologist Steve Norris with the first check of your forecast. Green County Public Health will start offering the bivalent COVID-19 booster for kids 5 to 11 years old tomorrow. Parents can bring their child to the Public Health Office on Wilson Drive in Xenia. Shots will be available Friday morning from 8.30 to 10 a.m. and in the afternoon from 2 to 3 p.m. Coming up, we're looking ahead to one of the Miami Valley's most popular Halloween traditions, how volunteers are getting thousands of pumpkins ready for their glow up. More than 100 animals were killed in a house fire in Dayton Wednesday night. It happened around 720 last night on West Hillcrest Avenue near Auburn Avenue. Groups of parents across Ohio are pushing for stricter laws to protect children from sexual assault. Ohioans for Children Protection are calling on lawmakers to pass several bills, including House Bill 266, which would change the statute of limitations on abuse crimes. After weeks of decline, COVID-19 cases surged once again in Ohio last week. The Ohio Department of Health reporting nearly 12,000 new cases last week. That's up more than 2,500 from the previous week, and it's back above the state's three-week average. 